Hey guys, my name is Dave, and welcome to another video. This is going to be a short little brief video. Actually, it's being recorded um, a little bit after last Thursday's stream of Lies of P. I'm gonna make it, I make an announcement. I'm gonna make an announcement tomorrow about how I'm going to approach days like today. Like, cause normally you see uh, let's play stuff. Today normally would be an episode of Dead Cells. Whether I actually beat it or not is up in the air. But uh, or tomorrow's episode would normally be an episode of Persona 4 Golden. Uh, given circumstance, which I talk about tomorrow, it's not the case. And normally in the future, there's a specific thing I'll do instead. But, like I said, that'll be discussed tomorrow. Um, today, though, I actually wanted to thank you guys for all the support that you did. Now, I talked about this very briefly uh, prior to the Lies of Peace stream last Thursday. I wanted to go a little bit more in-depth about this. As I'm sure many of you know, this channel has meant... It, it, it's been my baby since... I first created it back in 2017. Now, at the time, I didn't know what I was going to do with it yet. I wasn't even solidified on the idea of binging certain nostalgic series, like what we do now on stream. Uh, Liza P, it's, the nostalgic series for that is more like Souls Likes and Souls Borns. Um, Crash Bandicoot, or as we like to call it Trash Bazooka. Um, Zelda, Mario, uh, Final Fantasy, fantastic series that are classics and nostalgic to everyone nowadays. Um, I didn't know I was going to do that yet. I, I didn't even, like, consider what I was going to do on the channel directly. Uh, I started gaming on it just because it seemed to be the hip thing on YouTube, at the time when I started doing it. Um, it didn't have like a specific direct approach or anything. So I just kind of went with things. Until I threw something at the dartboard one day and I was like, that's it. Obviously this is not what happened, but I'm not gonna go too much into detail on that. That could be something safe for a future date. Um, but one thing that I never imagined <laughs> get to the point of doing is keeping a constant eye on the numbers, on the analytics of the channel. As it stands right now, I'm technically my own channel manager. Well, I'm the everything manager of this channel at the moment. What's interesting to me is that Prior to maybe a couple months ago, I don't think I would have considered looking at analytics. The channel was... I don't even know if I would have considered it um, my baby like I do now. Like, it, as precious to me as I do at the current moment. But, admittedly, not when it uh, first uploaded, but... This came to my mind very recently. Uh, it had been in effect beforehand, but I would say after the events of Matt Pat uh, resigning from his position as a host on the Game Theorist channel, I was recommended a video that Stephanie, his Stephanie Patrick, his wife, um, and the technically the business manager of the channel, of uh, the Theorist channels, I should say, um, and Theorist Co., she made, it, it, the video that she had made for him, basically a happy anniversary video uh, that she had made, I believe, back in 2022, I thought it was 2021, forgive me I if I can't remember the exact date it was done. Um, but it was recommended to me recently. I remember first watching it long after it was released, maybe three months ago, more or less, as of the recording or the up the upload of this video, actually. Um, 
I remember watching it and thinking, wow, I want that. Because what she was describing, how she was describing the channel was, and I'm not going to go too much into detail because they're her words and pure poetry. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie. Um, but I remember her talking about how, or, or, like, comparing the a YouTube channel to that of a relationship. This is around the same... I, 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 I remember seeing this for the first time, and it was a little bit after... Um, Pink Fox and I had decided that it was be in our best interests to part ways um I had saw that seen that video and went I want that I was referring to the channel more than anything else at the time I still feel that way I mean as much as I'd love that from a relationship as well I'm not gonna go too much into detail because it's once again, her words, not mine. Um, I watched that video and it got me thinking. Every piece of advice that Steph had given in that video, I have taken to heart since. And admittedly, I've noticed a very significant difference on here. Not all, and it wasn't just her words either. A lot of what I'm talking about in this video has big influence from the theorists. Steph and Matt. Both of them. And I guess to a specific degree, little Ollie as well. I have never gotten the chance to meet the two as much as I'd love to, but they seem like a busy duo, and I can understand that. But even with how hectic things are, they seemed happy. And as I'm not saying that in a sense where I'm saying it from like a third party distant perspective. They seemed stressed, sure, because of all the work they had to put into everything, but they still seemed happy with the life they were building. Not complete, sure, but still happy nonetheless. They were happy with their, the community they had built happy with the staff they were bringing in, with the plan that they were building up to what they're doing now. They were happy. And it all started with treating with Matthew and Steph, simply treating the channel like they treated each other, as a loving relationship. That's something that I started doing recently. And I started showing more of what I used to have. I used to look at the channel as something that was just just to get me to laugh. That's that's the only reason I did it. I, I would create a good example of this is the Chizo Mythos series specifically Five Days a Stranger. <laughs> Episode 1 gets me laughing every time I watch it. Uh, and I watch it more frequently than you might think. But... That's it. That's all it was for for me at the time. No financial gain. Still doesn't sit that way at this point, and I'm fine with that. Maybe sometime in the distant future it'd be nice to do that, but... Distant future. That's different. But... It was a means for me to escape reality. To... It, it, it was an escape route. It didn't have any kind of significance to me. Nothing special. Nothing like that. But... After... admittedly watching a lot of GT Live, a lot of game theories more meta videos, 
whether it's like going through the, the, the video that exposes their channel in other words the video where they talk about what they're really doing behind the scenes not the one where they say what's going on and they just pretend like it's all hunky-dory when come on everyone knows it's not business does not work like that the one where they actually talk about what's actually happening of course they throw in jokes to make it entertaining but you get the point the video that Seft did for MatPat for their anniversary a couple years back and a bunch of other videos that were very similar on that front a lot of the GT Life shorts that showcased the connection between Matthew, Steph, Ash, Amy, even the people like Jason, individuals like that, left, right, all over the place. That loving connection between the theorist's family and us as a community Analyzing that, and there's a reason I'm using the word analyzing, with all the additive stuff that, uh, the other videos, and pondering everything about all those things, made me start to realize that, even though I didn't have that goal originally back when I first started the channel, and recently it's something that you guys whether you've stuck with me for the seven plus years the channel has been around or for the short amount of time because of the streams and such it made me realize that just just watching those videos and the shorts and all the stuff from uh, the theorists it, it it got me to realize that what that kind of relationship that they had created on their first original channel spread and spread to the other spin-off ones it was here and it's something that I am very grateful for it's Something I don't want to lose. Am I afraid to lose it? No. I'm sure there will be a lot of decrease in numbers and increase in numbers given a certain amount of time. But am I afraid of it? No. Because of the one thing that has always been the case, even if I didn't make it an ultimatum at the start. This channel's not going anywhere. The numbers might fluctuate, but the channel itself and the memories that I've created throughout it, they're stuck. <laughs> as long as I don't delete them and I don't plan on it. They're stuck. And that's how I want it to be. Whether it's the good, like what I'm talking about now, more or less, or the bad, like the negative events that have occurred throughout my life that I've talked about on here to you guys because I like being open with you. Whatever it may be. Something I don't want to lose. Regardless of the kind of memory it is, regardless of what stupidity I might be pulling, Regardless of what kind of fun or downer times we could be having on here, I don't want to lose it. And I'm grateful for what it is, for what it will be, and for what it has been. But most of all, I'm grateful for you guys, so thank you. Thank you for sticking with me, with us, depending on who's on the team at the current moment. <laughs> Um, because that has fluctuated over time. Um, 
And for those who may be watching who were part of the team at some point or another, thank you for being a part of that. For whatever reason, had left or had joined. I'm glad it happened. I'm happy for every part of my life. Whether the good or the bad. But most of all, the experiences are the thing I'm happy for the most. The thing that I will never let go of. And I think a good example of this... Yeah, you thought I was going to close off? I did too. But this came to my mind and I did want to talk about. I think a perfect example of this really quickly would be the Drive with David and Dave and Amber series. Amber and I... Yeah. We parted ways. But those are memories that I liked. Greatly. And not just that, there are games on, Let's Plays on here as well, like parts of the Doki Doki Literature Club Plus series that we did that I'm not getting rid of that. <laughs> I think that's a perfect example of what I mean. I'm not getting rid of any of the memories that I'll always want to hold dear. Ones that I never want to forget. Regardless of what negative things happened in the aftermath, if you consider it that, or if you don't. It's up to you. But, the memory itself will never be bad to me. And like I said before, like all of the support that you guys have been giving recently, especially that, it's something I never want to forget. It's something I always will be grateful for. So, now I'm actually closing it off. Thank you guys so much for everything you've done. For me, for the channel, and for whoever the staff is at the time that you may be watching this. Thank you guys again. And I'm looking forward to seeing you guys tomorrow and in the upcoming days. I'll see you guys later.